everyone, so please interested those who love physics and math, you could call me Mr. Evan, and today let's talk about this particular problem on geometry. So we have parallelogram ABCD, it has angle A bisector, which crosses BC side at the point K. We should find the perimeter of the parallelogram if AB side is equal to 7 and KC segment is equal to 2. What should we do? First of all, let's pay attention to what we have. What is given to us? Parallelogram. What does it mean? It means that BC is congruent to AD and also parallel to one, right? Also AB is congruent to CD and parallel to this one. That's quite important. Now, uh, if we look at the AK segment, it's angle A bisector. Cool. But what else does this mean to us? Let's look from the higher perspective. If we think of, of parallelogram not only uh, as of parallelogram, but also have two parallel lines, two parallel lines BC and AD, not segments, lines, and AK becomes now transversal. It's kind of tricky point. Somehow many students don't see it from the first attempt. But if we do that, we automatically start thinking about alternate interior angles, right? So BKA and KAD are alternate interior angles, means they are congruent. So measure of BKA is same as measure of KAD. That's great. But if so, if so, now looking at the ABK triangle, we should understand it's isosceles. Why? Because of base angles theorem. If the base angles of the triangle are congruent, means triangle is isosceles. What does it mean? It means that AB is equal to, K, uh, to BK, right? And we could now write that BK is also equal to 7. And that's quite cool. Uh, furthermore, now we know that BC is equal to 9. And that's great, because BC is equal to also AD, and AD is also equal to 9. And as we said in the beginning, AB is equal to CD, means CD is also 7, and we have all the sides known now, right? The only thing we have to do is to find the perimeter to add them up. So perimeter of ABCD is equal to 7 plus 7 plus 9 plus 9, which means it's uh, 14 plus 18, and it's equal to 32. That's it. Nothing else more complicated or special. So this is how we deal with this problem. And one key point is just to look from the higher perspective or to take it as a bigger picture. Not only program, but something else. Try to imagine some additional constructions. Try to imagine what, it, what else it could be. And that's really a way to find hints to the solution. Okay. That's all for now. If you like it, press like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions what kind of problems to solve, please send me your ideas. I'll be happy to answer. Wish you all the best in your studies. See you and bye.